welcome back to the channel. Basically, I had gotten a question on how to get the locker room leader achievement slash trophy, which is for completing 20 side quests. Basically, in the beginning of the game, you could talk to Eric Young, and there's like one side quest there on NXT. Now, I don't have that here because I didn't feel like going through like all of the my career, what is it called? Training, I guess it is. I didn't want to do that like performance center thing again because it was just a stupid waste of an hour. But um, luckily, I have a side quest here from Jey Uso to show you that this is how they come about. And it's not really that difficult. Some side quests are like just earning a three or four star match. But let's see what Jey Uso has. He says, we have our own personal issues with your opponent tonight. And the thought the three of us could work out a little side deal. Don't worry, Uso. We ain't asking you to lose or get yourself disqualified on account of us. We want you to win, Oos. You winning is vital because after you've picked up your win, we want you to pick up your opponent and put him through the announce table. You down with the plan or what? And then you have the choice of saying yes or no. We're going to obviously say yes. Yes, I'm down. I'm no fan of the guy either, and I could always use the extra cash. And then it'll come up like this. Side quest. Current week. One. Total weeks. One. Now those are the ones you want to look for. Because they're quicker, obviously. And you have to do 20. I've already done my 20. But, uh, yeah. They'll also help you get attribute points and influence. Or the other thing I don't remember. Um, popularity, that's what it was. So this will be for company mansets to influence. And popularity goes for fan favorite. We also get 100 VC. And all we have to do is put our opponent through the announcer's table. We just accepted the side quest. The side quest will begin on next week's show. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just run through. Speak with Todd Maul at the production area. And just do this real quick. I'm going to accept the match, even though I really don't want to do a six-man match. What I'm going to do to simulate to the next week quicker is I'm just going to get disqualified in this match. And all side quests usually come from the parking lot with, like, air Rowan or something. Or, like, as you saw there, Jey Uso was by the garage door. I guess it's a garage door. Like the first wall you see there, that's metal. There will be people who uh, have side quests for you there. Those are the two people I talk to the most. Like if they're in that area, I'm going to talk to them to look for a side quest. If they're not in that area, then they more than likely don't have a side quest. I'll try to show you the exact locations once the uh, next week comes about. So what we're going to do here is... We're gonna get disqualified. Alright, let's do that. This one's over by way of disqualification. Doesn't matter. Go back in the ring. Winners, team Randy Orton. So what? No big deal. Gonna hit continue. These load times are incredibly long. I know I pointed that out in my last achievement guide, but they are seriously long. And uh, I don't think 2K is going to fix them in any updates. I don't think they're going to do that at all. It would be nice if they did, but I doubt it.
Alright, so the majority of the time you'll get a side quest from someone who stands here and and over here at that wall and at that gray wall. Now we just go through, we go to the next week. And that's it. You get your side quest, you complete what they ask you to do, and then just keep talking to people backstage. Not too difficult. Anyway, peace guys. I hope you get the achievement. And I hope you have a wonderful day.